everyone, you are welcome to Untold Secrets of Love with Jeremiah Oderide and trust me, it's going to be very informative and educative because we are going to be sharing experience based on deep insights about things that happen in relationship, things that cause for your love or things that you have to know with your partner and things that needed to be done most especially with your partner and today we'll be discussing about five ways to be more patient with your partner five ways to be more patient with your partner when we talk about patience, we talk about the right sense of attitude to how you relate to things and how you respond to things so many times partners find it difficult to respond well to their fellow partner for instance i i see a scenario when a young guy came to a very public place and slapped a lady it wasn't funny this very day they are not married yet and he was trying to tell the lady that this thing woman this thing girl i asked you to cook before i i was like cook so because she did not cook that's why you have to slap her wow i felt so shocked and the lady too was following him i was like ah, is this our relationship rules why can't this guy be patient and understand the reason why this girl could not even prepare food or stuff like that they are not married for goodness sake these are things we'll be checking into why do we need to be patient i've seen a scenario where a man will beat his wife in the house in a scenario where a man will shout at his wife publicly i'm not saying this is responsive to only man no you know i'm also a guy i'm a man too as well yeah so female too as well also do the same to guys Patience can be bitter, but the fruit thereof is sweet. This will lead me to the five ways in which you can be more patient with your partner. Number one, you need to study and listen to your partner. So many people does not have listening here. That was why God did not give us two mouths. He gave us two ears so that we can listen very well to our partner, know their acts, know the acts of your partner to you and you as well can know the art of your partner to yourself by the time you are able to listen well to your partner and study your partner you then know the the, the main character in her or in him when you are able to discover that then you work together to fight through your purpose now when you are able to listen more to your partner that you are not too busy or carried away with what you do around you probably your office or whatsoever you discover that you get more attention are you getting me from your partner you you give yourself attention and you get to know yourself better the number two ways which is very important as well is minimizing distraction and this will take me to a story of a young man i i i, I met one of his content online this man is into businesses he traveled around the country and one day he was in an hotel just getting back and he decided that okay let me call my wife but while calling his wife after, after freshening up he, he this young man put in for football game you know pace now we love playing pace so this guy i love playing pace that's why i said pace that was the game he was playing then i love it too so he put him on and he was playing the game but unfortunately while he was playing the game he was also speaking with the, with his wife and his wife was like i can't understand what you are saying what are you doing he said, nah, nah, nah. He, he's trying to silence the sound of the game so that the wife will not hear but unfortunately the, the wife busted out what is the meaning of this can't you can't you just attend to me first before you do all that things now can you see that women love attention women love attention they don't like to jeopardize with anything called attention it is very important that you give them attention at the same time women give your man attention we need the, the two party needs attention so minimize distraction then thirdly it is self-control see this is very important see we've got to see we men we have ego accept it we have it and we love making use of it very very well and this brings me to a, to a scenario whereby a man has a very stressful and active day and unfortunately getting home your wife did not do what you ex you should not do what you're expecting of her that she should have done you know how you feel you feel angry as a that sport learn to control yourself you're on the phone call with her she did something like give her a self-respect like try to control yourself and you ladies too i know you have that that jealousy spirit in you you meet your partner or another person 
ask questions don't be too quick to judge don't assume that's the fourth point don't assume never assume that this is how you mm. ask questions this is how patient take place. This is how you can maximize your patient. This is how the spirit of patient can dwell. It is one of the fruit of the spirit. This is how you can make it useful. This is how you can utilize it. What did I say? Have patience. And the fifth point is build your love. Oh, see, this is a very systemic way that majority did not know how to build it. Even though I myself. Personally speaking, I didn't take this into action for a while, but later I discovered that I need to build this love. If you don't build this love, then you cannot get to know anything that is happening. Appreciate her. Just a phone call. Hello, sweethearts. Trust you are doing good. How is work? I am just checking up on you. That only can give her joy. See, the kind of meal you will meet on the table that they will be different. Appreciate them. Sometimes just give them surprise hangouts. And the way are you now? You are less busy. All right, let's meet at Suzo place. Let's have an hangout. Appreciate them. It's not until when you buy them a new car. No, it's not until when you build them house. No, singles that you are in courtship. It's not until when you give them the biggest thing. No, that is not how to do it. It is just a biscuit, chocolate biscuit that you can give her. Give her. Oh. So many people did Valentine. Yes, good. What do you give her for the va? They say, hey, hello, happy va. Do you present? If it's just something of one thousand naira, do you give her? So all these things are things you need to do to build the love, to build the communication, to build the interference, so that it can be stick. The scripture says, "Can two work together except they agree?" If both of you did not come together to submit and learn from each other, your relationship will remain unhealthy. So for you to have an healthy relationship, please allow the spirit of patience to dominate in your relationship. The foundation is still now. Don't wait until when you become a single mother. Don't wait until when you become a single father. You can work together now and build that home. If you discover that both of you can build it alone, you can go ahead to see a pastor that knows more than you and spiritually guided, or go to a love therapist and they will counsel you on how to build your home. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for listening. Thank you for staying to Just Do Well to Rot. Click on the subscribe button. I still remain your, my humble self. Jeremiah or anything. And don't forget, this is Untold Secrets about love with Jeremiah.